Hello, my name is Christopher and I love gardening. Today is Wednesday the 29th of August 2018. Uh, the temperature was finally perfect, it was beautiful, like upper 60s, maybe crested into the low 70s. But the last two days it was about 94 degrees and we had these huge like red storms that went through. Lots of lightning, lots of almost straight line 60 mile an hour winds. We had some flash flooding. I had some damage in the garden, which you'll see in just a moment. Um, so let's get going. So the first thing that you'll notice right there is the big arch trellis fell over. Um, it's sitting at like a 30 degree angle, which is pretty much a bummer. Um, I went and I took a look at it. I'll bring you in so you can see it a little bit closer, but I think the pumpkins that were over here are weighing it down just a little bit too much, and the winds were coming in this direction and they just blew it over. I think the only thing that really stopped it from falling entirely over were the stakes there from the tomatoes, which at one time it was leaning on. So I'm gonna have to fix that by driving in a stake over there, probably tying some things around the back end, pulling it back up. And then this weekend, I'm going to harvest some of these pumpkins, which are nice and orange already. Uh, instead of letting them grow too big, I'm going to, I know they're ripe, so I'm just going to pick them up, puree them, and then we can have like pumpkins for making uh, pumpkin pie and things like that already. I've got two great big ones on the other side, which are mostly on the ground. So I can use those for um, pumpkin carving and fun things. Hopefully at the end of September, fingers crossed if they last that long. So just for a little perspective, this is <laughs> how badly the second arch trellis has fallen over. So this is the time of year when the raspberries are all um, pretty much going crazy. So I get out here every morning and I pick these off. So this one right here that's perfectly ripe right now, this morning was closer to this uh, light pink right here that was a little bit too firm. So they're just ripening it up left and right, picking about a quart a day or so and I will for the next several weeks, which is awesome. And you can see here, I've got two, one, two, three, that'll be pickable in a day or two. And there's still probably a dozen and a half that are white. And these are gonna be ripe over the course of the next few weeks. And I'm not even competing with the bees. I'm just giving them stuff to eat and they leave me alone and it's super, 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 super awesome. So as we spin it around, you can kind of get a feel, um, again, for how much this has sagged. And it should be time soon to pick things like my coconut squash. I got several of them that are nice and orange. The decorative gourds, I think I'm just gonna pull them and cure them, should be fine. And then the things like this giant pumpkin that I have down here and its friend, which is right over there, I'm just gonna let them be. They should be just fine that low on the trellis. I don't expect that they're really pulling it over too badly. So you can definitely tell that a storm went through here last night. Uh, as I look at the potatoes, you can see I've got things like this that just totally snapped off. It's really disappointing. I could, yeah, just pull it off like this. So unfortunately, I think these potatoes, I'm gonna have to harvest them a little bit sooner than expected. Oh, well, that happens. Uh, I'm really impressed at the sunflowers here that they didn't just fall over. These orange Mexican sunflowers that we have have been attracting so many big bumblebees and monarch butterflies, it's out of this world. I'm surprised that the corn has stayed so long. Some of the ones that snapped off early, you can see they're getting nice and brown, which is pretty cool. We're letting them do that because they're going to be our decorations around the harvest time. Pretty much the end of September and October on the front step. But the real great big champion here, of course, is the um, great big mammoth sunflower. There's no head on it yet, which I'm not entirely certain why. Up here, there's a little bit of a stem that snapped off. I don't know if that was going to be the beginning of a flower head. We'll see it. This just keeps growing higher and higher. And I'm glad before the storm came, I tied it down uh, into this piece of artwork back here. And that kept it, I think, from taking a digger because these great big leaves, the wind would have taken it and just gone and it would have been on the corn. The peppers are still prolific. It's, it's really amazing. And uh, I took off the, um, the, what's the word, the sisal that I had here, kind of trellising them on. You'll notice the stakes aren't here anymore. I used those last weekend before um, my daughter was born when we were staking in um, the rabbit fence all the way around. Anyway, these didn't fall off, which I'm very thankful for, but the banana peppers here, you can see they kind of tipped over, but they don't look too worse for wear. In fact, I've got some bananas that I can harvest. Um, got a few tomatoes in here that I can pick yet. They're, they're really looking quite lovely. See, one of the things that I like so much 
This is just one plant of cherry tomatoes, but I think it's so pretty how they come out like this. And you get kind of a, like a, like a braid almost of tomatoes. Isn't that just interesting? I just think it's so pretty. Having a hard time focusing there. Do do do. Yeah, lovely. And these are just the sweetest, most delicious thing. Well, I'll kind of conclude over here by the main focus of this week's event. Um, I still have yet to replant these for the root vegetables to do a fall harvest, and I don't know if it's too late to do it or not. I've got to do some research on that, so I may or I may not at this time. It's okay. Otherwise, for the rest of the season, it's just got to process the kale, save the tomatoes, the peppers for a little while, sunflower stuff, process these. And this was super cool. I'm definitely going to use this again. I'll reinforce it with some uh, steel rebar next year, and I won't plant pumpkins on it. But other than that, I'd say it's been a pretty successful year. Now that it's cooling off, that was the green one. Oh, man, green tomatoes don't taste good. Mm, the red ones do. Anyways, now that it's cooling off, I'm probably going to get to that purple picket fence, the decorative one in the front, which I've been talking about for, you know, like a year and a half. Fingers crossed, but this is the time to do it. I should also say that my daughter was born last week, Monday, um, Charlotte May. She was born at 6.15 in the evening, uh, a little over 7 pounds and 20 ounces, or 20 inches. And she's beautiful and wonderful, and we're so happy, and I love being a dad. So earlier this week, I put out the build video for the crib that I made her. By all means, check that out, and you can see what she looks like, too. It's a wonderful feeling. So anyways, how's your garden going? Be sure to let me know. Have you ever eaten a horrible green tomato? We all make mistakes. Um, yeah, and what should I do for the fall? Is it too late for these? Or what do you think? Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next week. Bye.